What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and I know probably, you're probably gonna end up seeing this before the rest of the videos come out for today, I know you're probably wondering what's going on with the reactions, usually, um, you know, Hunter x Hunter and Death Note would be out already today, but unfortunately it's gonna be late today, I'm having a little bit of issue getting those videos out but let's talk about attack on titan man let's jump into this reaction this episode came out two days ago um and i'm just now getting a chance to react to it not happy but it is what it is not happy about it but it's what's going on right now so i want to see what is going to be now that armin is the colossal titan what what is going to take place from here are they going to end up back home? Are they going to see what's in the basement before they leave? What are they going to do? But last episode was definitely an emotional one. The choice that that um that Levi had to make between choosing Erwin or Armin. So it was a tough episode to watch. As I said, it's very it was a very tough choice for him to make because we all know how close Levi and, and Erwin was. So, a lot of people were saying, oh, it was just him putting his hands up. No, I don't believe that. Even if it, even if it is, subconsciously, he was not. I'm telling you guys, the writing in, the show, in this show is so good. Even if he was um, putting up his hand in his dream or what he, what he was thinking about when he put his hands up in class when his dad was teaching the class or whatever, and his dream was to get to that basement and what, whatever, what have you. However you want to view it, the, the action that was taken, as in him lifting up his arm and, um, you know, taking Levi's hand away from giving him the injection, right? Or from choosing him subconsciously that's what they want that's what they wanted you to understand by that action it, it, um, in some ways you could say it's a double meaning it yes he put his hands up what he was dreaming about what he's always wanted to do the the um but still it still meant that he was taking away Levi's hand letting him know no don't bring me back bring somebody else back whatever the situation is so i'm just saying erwin wasn't dead that's what you guys need to understand at, at what what i what i was looking at because i did look at it from that perspective too i say you know what it's a double meaning because you also got to think about it's like erwin wasn't dead so he probably was hearing everything you got to understand that he wasn't in a coma or anything he was unconscious so a lot of times when, when people need to understand that when people are unconscious they literally can hear everything around them they just can't they're just not um they're not awake like me and you they're just not they can't wake up you know it takes time for everything to start functioning again but they can hear everything around them i mean i've heard of cases where um i've heard of cases where people um do they're unconscious to the to the point where they seem dead like their heartbeat is so faint till they're in a body bag man they're in a body bag heading to the morgue and then when they start to autopsy the person and they realize oh shit the blood is still you know when they cut into the person the blood is not you know it's not co coagulated it's it's still very um runny is the blood is still is still running when they cut the person which is not supposed to happen when you cut into a dead person okay you're not supposed to have running blood because the heart should not be pumping you get what i'm saying when the heart is pumping that's when you get that running blood but when the heart is not pumping the heart has stopped all the blood in your body coagulates it it gets hard you get what i'm saying just like how when blood run out of your body and it and it stop it just stops right and it gets really um the texture of it is really tough so um so that's what i'm talking about when i say that 
Um, I'm not saying that Erwin was dead, but he was unconscious. So I think he could hear everything that was going on around him. So in my, from my knowledge, I think it has a double meaning. Yes, it meant that that happened as in he put his hand up in class, right? That's what he was dreaming about, right? But at the same time, I think he heard what was happening. He put his hand up too and knocked Levi's hands away, okay? So I do get it, man. I do I do get it um, of what's going on. Uh, I'm so psyched. I want to see what happens next um, in this episode. Just keep caring now. How is Armin going to react to being a Titan? You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to see all that. So let's jump into this episode, man. If you're a newcomer, we only do full reactions over here for our animes. I don't upload to YouTube for reasons I'm not going to get into right now. Just understand if you want to watch this full reaction, just go to the link in the description um, and watch these full, um, full, um, full reaction of this episode. Okay. Thank you very much. I will see you guys for the review after this short break. Go watch the episode and come back for the review. Okay, so I'm a little, I don't want to say confused, but there's a lot of signals going off in my head right now because I'm looking at the situation like this, like, that, that, that's some serious stuff that, that, So, I don't even know, I don't even know what to, to, to even start talking about right now. If I should, oh my God, what? So it's like they're like closed off in, in another world somewhere. Cause I mean, if, if, if humans are living in luxury, it, that it's basically like, we're we like we the audience right now it's like the people that the guy in the photograph was talking about is us and then they're just living this crazy ass life some on some on a different pl on the same planet but they're like in a bubble somewhere like that's how the 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 um the photograph the, what what the guy is saying on the photograph make it seem like because um so basically, this has all just been one big trick. I don't know. I don't even want to start speculating because I know there's more to come. Of course, I know this is not the end of the season. So what is going on? How are they going to figure out what's going on? Um, what do what is what? Because, I mean, it can't be that the whole book is just one photograph in there like them not knowing about a photograph like that's another thing too like we never expected that either i mean we're not looking at their society as it being you know as it being off the human world but w i don't even know how to explain myself because this it's like it's like they're living in a different dimension somehow i don't know you know what I'm saying? Like, how how is people living outside of the wall in luxury and they're living this crazy survival everyday kind of life? How? What is going on? Have they been tricked into thinking that their life is always in danger? Who created these titans? What? Why did these titans come into being in the first place? Why did? Who created this this crazy ass serum that turns people into titans? Why did they start developing abilities? It's so many questions in this anime, and it just keeps you guessing. And I love it. I love it for that because. It makes you really wonder where the story is going to go. Nothing is clear cut for you to say, okay, this is where it's going to go or this is what's going to happen. Pretty much everything is, 
is very astonishing. It's, it's very um, well thought out when it comes on to the story. I mean, it's it's so it's like, where do we where, where are we going now? Now that we have this new information, them not knowing what a photograph is. You know what I'm saying? Like, where are we going with this? People are outside of the wall living in luxury and stuff like that. And the guy hopes that one of his fellow men gets a hold of this picture. Is this, is, was this something in the past? You get what I'm saying? Is this something in the past? Um, if you go back, let me go back for a second here. We're doing the review, right? Called a photograph, right? It is called a photograph. I come from a land outside the walls where humans live in luxury, right? I come from a land outside the walls where humans live in luxury, right? And then he goes on to say, humanity has not perished. I only hope that one of my fellow countrymen will be the first to lay hands on this book. Right? That's what the back of the photograph says. So, he's hoping that somebody finds the book. So, the book don't even belong to Aaron's father. So, it's probably just... A bunch of new information stuff that they don't know about like you know maybe even better technology that they don't even know about it's like it's kind of like the situation where you have even though it's a choice for like um for mormons and stuff like that it's not about i'm not going to talk about the religious aspects just the just of how um is it Mormons? Yeah, I think it's Mormons that live. They live off book, off um, technologies and, and, and stuff like that. I think it is. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Those people that they they live on these crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, and for some reason, it seems like they always have these biblical names, right? Ezekiel. Um, Jeremiah, you know, those people I'm talking about, right? So you have, um, they do crazy stuff. They have multiple wives and stuff like that, but they live off the grid. Like they know nothing off the technology that we use cameras, stuff like that. They don't know. They don't know off it. The children grow up. They don't really know about this stuff. They can choose to leave after a certain age, of course, but I'm saying like they're, they're growing up. It's kind of like, so that's what I'm saying. Were they tricked into thinking that nobody else exists because of what Erwin was Erwin was talking about with that one guy that was saying I shouldn't have taken what Erwin said for granted. Um, hopefully I get a chance to, you know, apologize, whatever the situation is. So I don't know. I still don't know. I can't say. I'm wondering if that's the kind of thing where they were told this lie so that they can keep these people in line and keep them in the past living in the past and then they you they and then they created the serum to create the titans right to create the titans to keep them scared and depending on them somehow and they wanted to control the power of the titans so um and that's the reason why they were trying to get a hold of of Aaron cuz maybe they lost the coordinate and stuff like that. I mean, it's just nuts the amount of scenarios and ways that this thing can go. I'm so glad. I love writers that don't write themselves into a corner where you can figure everything out because there's so many ways, there's so many angles that they can go from here. It's so good. It's so good, man. And that's what I'm saying. Like, there's so many things that you could be thinking right now. You could be thinking, oh, so Attack and Titan is set in a different dimension. Are they living, in, are they at a part of the world or, or something where nobody can find them? You know what I'm saying? Like, what happened? What caused all of this now? Because now you're, now, if, if there's 
other people in the world that probably don't even know that Titans exist. They live in luxury. Humanity has not perished, right? If that is the case, my friend, if that is the case, there's so many things that you could be thinking right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's, man, this story is so good. It is so good. It is so good, man. Oh, man. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. It's been great. This one was good. This episode was good. Revealed a lot. They're back home. Now we know what's in the what was in the basement. Well, not entirely, but I mean, there's so many ways that this could go. Somebody had said in the comment section that it's not going to be what I think it is. Um, well, I am absolutely surprised. I didn't I I, I didn't think it was going to be this kind of information. I thought it was going to be information like on the Titans themselves. Um, you know, information about the Titans, how to defeat them, um, that he figured out, you know what I'm saying, how to mass produce the serum perhaps or something like that. I don't know. I thought it was going to be Titan related and it has nothing to do with the Titans. So there's that. So thank you guys for tuning in, man. It has been great. Um, this review was, it just still has me thinking, right? So thank you guys for watching as always, man. So remember, you are a terror squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.